BTCI Channel 2 welcomes you to our coverage of high school basketball. It's now time for the boys edition here at the Duster Dome as the Tyrone Bobcats are in town to take on the Dusters. The starters for the visiting Tyrone Bobcats, a senior number four, Cooper Banning, a senior number 10, Chance Duty, a junior number 12, Matthew Clancy, a senior number 23, Abraham Valdez, and a senior number 14, Alex Landaverde. Bobcats are coached by head coach Clay Witt. He's assisted by Travis Banning. And now for the Beaver Dusters, their starters, a freshman number 10, Adrian Gonzalez, a senior number 10, Dace Farrington, a senior number 13, Jesus Gonzalez, a sophomore number 31, Junior Lozano, and a freshman number 35, Aiden Rollins. The Beaver Dusters are coached by head coach Craig Schleschman, and he is assisted by Kyler McDonald. Bobcats come into this game ranked 15th in Class B, 17 and 4 overall. Beaver comes in with a 9 and 10 record. Both players, uh, both teams, as we mentioned during the girls' game, that they'll be hosting district tournaments, and both of these teams have first-round buys, so. No matter what, they'll be in the first round of regionals. Already a basket by Chance Duty and a steal. Ball out of bounds and back to Beaver, though. Checking in quickly to the game. A senior number 11, Alex Torres, as Matthew Cancy comes up limping a little bit. So against this Tyrone pressure defense. Trying to work it across midcourt stripe. They're going to have to hurry. Stepping in front of the pass is Banning. And they're going to call Banning for the foul there. That'll be his first, team's first foul as well. And now Beaver in their half court offense. They're missing a few guys. Starter Clay Pugh out with sickness. Of course, Tyrone also missing some guys. Ethan Brown out with an injury. Jackson Bell, one of their rotation players, is out with illness. Pass up ahead, long pass ahead to Torres. Lays it up and in. Beautiful pass. Four to nothing, Tyrone, a minute into this game. Also missing freshman Kobe Williams, who's also part of that rotation as well. So what is usually a nine or 10 man rotation is gonna be cut down to, to about six or seven for the Bobcats. Jesus Gonzalez with the ball out top. Rollins back to Gonzalez, over to Adrian Gonzalez. Looking for holes in this zone defense. Farrington pass into the lane, kick back out. Jesus Gonzalez for three, no good. Rebounded by Valdez and he's fouled. That foul is gonna be on Adrian Gonzalez. That'll be his first, team's first foul as well. Three-pointer by Duty, no good. Add the rebound if he'd have followed his shot. Into the game also for Beaver. We see the sophomore number 31, Junior Lozano with the ball. Jesus Gonzalez now back on the wing, up to Rollins. Gonzalez takes the three again, no good the second time. Now Chance Duty with the rebound, brings it up. Pass in the lane and just cut right through it all like a knife to Landa Verde for the layup. Six to nothing, Tyrone. Banning got a hand on that one, but Beaver able to keep possession. Baseline drive, kick to the corner. Rollins for three. No good. 
Rebound and put back up by Farrington. Misses it, gets his own rebound. And a foul underneath the basket. And Cooper Banning already with two fouls. Just two fouls on the Bobcats, both against Banning. So he'll head to the bench as the freshman, number five, Roberto Hernandez checks into the game. Rollins back outside. Jesus Gonzalez back to Adrian Gonzalez. Ball loose. Adrian Gonzalez gets it back, loses it for a second, gets it back. Rollins looks to go baseline, tipped away there for a second, gets it back. High post back outside. Rollins drives, puts up the floater, and gets it to go. And the Dusters are on the board with 4.39 to play in the first half. 6-2 still Tyrone. Pass there by Torres, out of bounds, and back over to Beaver. They'll line up at their full court press, though, again. Foul is going to be called on Valdez. That'll be his first, team's third foul. Baseline drive, floater put up by Adrian Gonzalez. Nice touch off the glass. Gets it to go, 14, or six to four now the score. Midway point of the first quarter. Hernandez pass inside. Back outside, Duty looked at the three, passed it up. Hernandez drives, kicks outside. Duty for three from the right wing. It's good. 9-4. Tyrone with the lead. Gonzalez has to come back to chase that one down. 10 second count. Turnover back to Tyrone. Deep three, and it rims in good by Alex Torres. And it's 12 to four now. Rollins with it, back out top to Jesus Gonzalez. Down low, back outside. Trying to find some holes in that zone to the high post back outside. Probably should have tried to turn around and face up with that. Farrington gets that one to roll over the rim for the basket. 12 to six now. The score quickly at the other end. Hernandez for three. No good. Rollins with the rebound on the backside. Farrington over to Rollins. And laid up and in by Lozano. And they quickly beat that press 12-8 now the score. Three-pointer again by Torres. No good and a foul on the rebound. They'll call that on duty. That'll be his first. Team's fourth foul checking in for the Bobcats. Number 21. Unfortunately, on my sheet, I do not have a 21. Excuse me, that is.
Chance Duty with the ball out top. And Torres now down low to Hernandez, turns inside, gets it to go, and he draws the foul. That's going to be on Dace Farrington, his first of the game, team second. Hernandez at the line for the and one. It's good, 15 to eight now the score. Into the game for Beaver is the sophomore number 24, Giovanni Enriquez. Adrian Gonzalez with it on the wing. High post. And that's going to be a travel. Enriquez almost kind of surprised by the space that he had. Again, his call for the walk. Tipped away by Farrington. Well, we'll stay with the Bobcats. Under a minute to play first quarter. Hernandez with it in the corner, dumped down low. Now pass to Duty, kicks it to the corner. Torres puts up the shot, no good. Rebounded though by the Bobcats. That's Hernandez along the baseline with a beautiful move. 17 to eight now at 30 seconds left to play in the quarter. Ball tipped away there by Torres. He's got the loose ball now. Bobcats in transition, three on one, dumps it along, no look. Then the pass to Hernandez, lays it up and in, 19 to eight. 12 seconds left to play. Farrington over to Enriquez, into the corner. Now back to Adrian Gonzalez, pulls up for three, no good. And that's the end of the first quarter. Tyrone jumps out in front over Beaver, 19 to eight. start the second quarter. Dusters will have possession of the ball. Lucky enough during the timeout to find out that number 21 for Tyrone is Antonio Pacheco. Speedy little running back during the football season. All passed around the perimeter, drive, baseline drive, tried to dump it to Farrington, loses it as Duty got a hand on it and Torres came away with it. Duty drives all the way to the hoop and lays it in, uses his speed. 21 to eight now the score. Tyrone dominating. Ball tipped away again, another turnover, Duty with it. Tried to get it over to Hernandez, tipped out of bounds by Farrington. Ball inbounded to Hernandez. He'll take it up. Can't get it to go. Rebound put up by Landa Verde, but he's fouled on the shot. Couldn't get it to go. But he'll go to the line for two shots. Foul will be on Jesus Gonzalez. That'll be his first, team's third. Misses the front end. 
7-13 to play here in the first half. Second one by Landaverde is good. 22 to eight now the score. Full court pressure again by the Bobcats. Gonzalez gets it across the midcourt stripe, but he's gonna be called for the travel as he turned to spin. Another forced error by that pre Tyrone pressure. Girls game, it was really Beaver defensive pressure that caused trouble. Now it's Tyrone's defense in the boys game. Hernandez with it in the post, kicks it across. Duty at the top of the key. Well, Pacheco gives it off to Torres. Torres looked at the three, passed it up. Duty saved that one from going out of bounds as Pacheco's pass was a little bit off. Pass intercepted by Rollins. Adrian Gonzalez over to Rollins. Jesus Gonzalez now picks up his dribble a little too fast. Able to get it to Rollins as Pacheco looked like he was ready to get the steal on that one. High post to Farrington, turnaround jumper. Can't get it to go. Off the backboard, gets his own rebound. Loose, stolen away though by Hernandez. Quick pass up ahead to Torres. Gives it to Duty, cuts to the hoop, puts it up. No good. It looks like he was able to draw the blocking foul. That'll be on Adrian Gonzalez, his second, team's fourth. And Chance Duty back at the line for the Bobcats. Sinks the first free throw. Valdez and Banning check back in for the Bobcats. Missed the second one, immediate foul called on Banning, and that will be his third. So as quickly as he went in is how quickly he heads back out into the game. The senior wearing zero, number zero, Noah Rodriguez. Twenty-three to eight. Tyrone with the lead. Nice pass into Farrington. Lays it up and in. Twenty-three to ten. Now the score. Into the lane to Hernandez. Lays it up and in. Twenty-five ten. A quick answer there by the Bobcats. Adrian Gonzalez gets it up to Farrington. Backdoor pass to Jesus Gonzalez. Knocked out of. Knocked away by duty as Torres tries to try to chase it down, but couldn't quite get there in time. Deep three by Adrian Gonzalez, no good. Foul from behind, that's going to be on Farrington. See, he pushed from behind, that's his second foul, team's fifth foul. Into the post, Valdez with the hook. It's good. 27 to 10. And laid up and in there by Jesus Gonzalez. Makes it 27 12. And we've got a timeout on the floor. 4.37 left to play in the first half. It's Tyrone 27, Beaver 12. All aboard! Next stop, PTCI for new smartphones. Get on the PTCI cellular train for huge savings. This season, get a Christmas gift of $600 off the regular price of any new smartphone at PTCI with a new activation. Are you caught up in a long-term contract with the other guys? No worries, PTCI will help you out. Come see us now. Check us out at ptci.net or call 580-338-2556. Out of the timeout, Tyrone with possession. Hernandez within the corner, dumps it down low to Valdez who 
Hands it right off to Hernandez for the easy basket. 29 to 12 now the score. Four and a half left to play here in the first half. Rollins back out top to Jesus Gonzalez. Barrington dumps it down low. Adrian Gonzalez back to Farrington. Shot blocked by Hernandez. Pastor Hernandez puts up the floater too short. Jesus Gonzalez on the rebound in transition. Kicks it across the lane. And a travel call. Basket went in, but it's too late. Checking back in for Tyrone is Pacheco and also Landa Verde. Pacheco with the ball. Kicks it down low to Valdez. Back outside. Mendez gives it to Valdez, knocked away, stolen away by Rollins. Good defensive play there. They look like they were trying to run the same play that Hernandez had scored on easily with earlier. Adrian Gonzalez for three, no good, rebounded. Back inside, Farrington kicks it across the lane. Rollins shot blocked by Valdez, then saves it from going out of bounds. Torres with it now in transition. Across the lane, Hernandez puts up the shot in the lane, no good, but draws the foul. Foul is going to be on Jesus Gonzalez. That'll be his second team's sixth foul. Hernandez at the line for two shots. He'll get the first one to go. Hernandez off the bench. Already in double figures. Misses the second. So 30 to 12 the score. Stolen away by Pacheco. Loses control of it and out of bounds. Back over to Beaver. And he's going to get teased by his teammates about that one. They'll give him a good ribbing. As he had a wide open layup. Back into the game, Lozano for the Dusters. Rollins with it in the corner. Back up top, Adrian Gonzalez over to Jesus Gonzalez. Pacheco got a hand on that one, almost had it. Jesus Gonzalez pulls up, free throw line, banks it in. 30 to 14. Two left to play here in the first half. Drive, ball knocked away by Torre on Torres. Foul is going to be against Adrian Gonzalez. That will be his third and the team's seventh foul. So Tyrone in the bonus the rest of the half. Torres misses the front end of the one and one. Beaver with the rebound. Rollins looked at the three, passed it up, tried to get it down low. Hernandez there to knock it out of bounds. Farrington checks back in. Pass out top, Lozano over to Farrington. Tried to get it inside, bad idea. Hernandez stole it away, but then made a bad pass himself back to Beaver. Jesus Gonzalez on the drive, missed the shot, got the rebound, back outside for three. 
No good. Rebounded by Landaverde. Torres pass across the lane to Duty. Lays it up and in. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line for the and one. Beautiful ball movement on that one. Jesus Gonzalez is going to be called for his third foul. That's the team's eighth foul. Free throw good. 33-14 now the score. And Gonzalez will have to head to the bench as en Enriquez comes in in his spot. 19-point lead for the Dusters. I mean, for the Bobcats over the Dusters. Rollins with it in the corner, back out top. Enriquez is passed back out top, out of bounds, turned back over to Tyrone. Under a minute to play here in the first half. <laughs> Pacheco over to Torres. Now Duty dumps it down low to Hernandez, goes baseline, can't get it to go, gets his own rebound though, dumps it across the lane. And a beautiful pass to Landa Verde, who lays it up and in. 35-14, 30 seconds left in the half. Skip pass over to Enriquez, looks to go baseline, puts up the shot and draws a foul. Foul will be called on Hernandez. That'll be his first. Team sixth foul. First free throw is good. No good on the second, but Farrington with the rebound and the putback. Good for two. So 35-17 now. Five seconds underneath the Hernandez, lays it up and in for the basket. And that is the half. The Tyrone Bobcats in complete control, leading the Beaver Dusters 37-17. We'll be back with the second half. Don't waste another night waiting on slow internet. Download files in a flash with 50 meg internet, lightning quick uploads, and no size limit or cap with PTCI. For just 60 bucks a month, you can have incredibly fast, dependable internet. And we'll even throw in six months of whole home Wi-Fi for free. If you're tired of thinking up ways to keep your eyes open while waiting on slow internet, call PTCI today. PTCI.net or 580-338-2556 now. And we are ready for the second half of play. Beaver hoping that they can find some answers They're against this Tyrone press. Tyrone leading by 20 will have the opening possession of the second half. Chance Duty out top with it. He'll give it up to Torres. Back around the perimeter to duty, now to Banning. Dumps it down low, Valdez goes base lock, puts up the shot, it's good. 39-17. Adrian Gonzalez out top, picks up his dribble. Gets it over to Rollins, he'll give it back. All around the perimeter. The Dusters Wingmen are giving up their dribble a little too fast at times. Skip pass back to Jesus Gonzalez, puts up the three, too strong. Farrington with the put back. 39-19 now the score. Drive dish underneath the Valdez. Beautiful drive and pass there by Torres. Barrington gets it back as Duty got a piece of that one, but Barrington able to get it up and in. 
at the basket. Shot missed. Landaverde quickly back the other way. Rollins up top with it now. High post by Farrington. He'll take the shot. It's short. Valdez with the rebound. Those two are the names we're calling here in the second half so far. Both ends down low to Valdez, lays it up off the glass and in. He's got six here to start this second half. We've got a timeout on the floor, 6.02 left to play in the third. It's Tyrone 43, Beaver 21. Possession. Tyrone looking to trap. Pass up ahead to Jesus Gonzalez. Back to Lozano. Now over to Rollins. Inside to Farrington. Tried to dump it down low to Lozano. Pass was too hot. Out of bounds. Back over to Tyrone. Landaverde to the high post of Valdez. Has a step out as it's tapped away by Farrington. Over to Valdez, passes it up. Landaverde back out top to duty. Torres tries to get it to Valdez, stolen away by Farrington. Pass up ahead to Rollins. Leaves it outside for Jesus Gonzalez back to Back to Rollins, stepped on the line, ball back over to Tyrone. Pacheco back into the game, as well as Hernandez. Ball down low. Farrington knocks that one away. Ball out of bounds, back, stay with Tyrone. Tyrone looking to spread the floor, four out. Torres takes the three. Hernandez with the rebound, baseline jumper, two. No good, ball tipped out. Rollins saves it from going out of bounds, but Pacheco there to pick it up for Tyrone. Loses control of it, gets it over to duty though. And Jesus Gonzalez is gonna be called for his fourth foul on the reach. First team foul of the second half. They'll go four out trying to isolate Hernandez in the inside, one on one. There it is to Hernandez, spins inside, puts up the shot, too short. Ball on the floor, Pacheco gets it. Actually, Landaverde did. Pacheco with the three from the corner, no good. Adrian Gonzalez with the loose ball. Pushes ahead all the way to the baseline, falls. Hard, luckily hit the ground before he ran into the stands at the end of the court. That foul is gonna be on chance duty. That'll be his second, team's first of the half. Ball tipped out of bounds on the, on the inbounds by duty. And Beaver will inbound again. Rollins with it, back outside to Adrian Gonzalez. And he'll bring it back up top. Jesus Gonzalez gets the screen. There's the drive, jump step inside between defenders, gets it to go. 
A bit of the shooter's touch there. 43-23 now the score. Duty for three from the corner. It's good. And that's what we've seen all night long from Tyrone. Just the quick answers every time, just about every time Beaver scored. Literally within five to eight seconds, you see Tyrone in transition scoring. Spin, drive, shot at the block, no good. Ball last touch by Hernandez, it will stay with Beaver. Checking in for the Bobcats, a freshman number one, Dakota Kane, number one. Adrian Gonzalez drives the lane, kicks out. Jesus Gonzalez open for three, no good. Rebound by Pacheco, knocked away to duty. Ball now loose on the floor, up to Torres. He'll drive in the lane, has it knocked away from behind. There will be a foul call. And that foul is called on Jesus Gonzalez and already done tonight with five fouls. Back into the game will be number 14, Victor Balderrama. Hernandez inside, spins baseline side, puts it up and in. 48-23 now the score, 240 left to play, third quarter. Drive all the way to the hoop, laid up and in by Adrian Gonzalez. Inside to Hernandez, knocked away by Farrington on the steal. Alderama gets it up to Rollins. Gonzalez down low to Lozano. Look baseline, kicks it out. Three-pointer. No good. Hernandez with the rebound. Long outlet pass up to Torres. Bounce pass to Duty off his leg and out of bounds back to Beaver. Banning Valdez return for the Bobcats. Under two to play here in the third. Balderrama with it on the wing, guarded tightly there. Skip pass over to Adrian Gonzalez. Skip pass back the other way. Rollins puts up the three, in and out. Rebound put back up by Balderrama, no good. Valdez with the rebound for the Bobcats. Back the other way as Banning will bring it up. Kick out to the corner, Torres for three. It's good. 51-25 now the score. Just over a minute to play here in the third quarter. Enriquez with it, drives baseline, up and underneath, no good. Banning with the rebound, outlet pass to Torres in transition. Takes it all the way to the hoop, lays it up and in, coast to coast. Enriquez with it on the wing. All back around the perimeter. Inside to Farrington, kicks it across the lane. Rollins with it now back outside. 12 seconds left. Rollins pulls up from the wing for three. No good. Banning with the rebound. Quick outlet pass. Torres with it. Five to play. Drives in, kicks out. Hernandez for three. No good. Rebounded by Farrington, and that is the end of the third quarter. The Tyrone Bobcats dominating the Beaver Dusters 53 to 25. All aboard!
Next stop, PTCI for new smartphones. Get on the PTCI cellular train for huge savings. This season, get a Christmas gift of $600 off the regular price of any new smartphone at PTCI with a new activation. Are you caught up in a long-term contract with the other guys? No worries. PTCI will help you out. Come see us now. Check us out at PTCI.net or call 580-338-2556. So as we start the fourth quarter, Beaver with possession. Shot in the lane by Rollins, draws the foul. Foul will be on Caden Sanborn, a freshman wearing number 20 who had just entered the game. At the end of the third quarter, Rollins makes his first free throw. In and out on the second, ball out of bounds. They'll say last touch by Farrington, so it'll go over to Tyrone. Down low to Valdez, backdoor pass, in and out. Shot up, no good. Banning puts it up, hits the bottom of the rim. He'll bring it out now. Punched away from behind by Farrington. Stolen away by Torres, though, as Banning gets it back. And they'll walk it back up, and now they'll set their half-court offense. Inside to Valdez, back outside. Sanborn skip pass over to Kane. Shot missed by Torres. Valdez misses the short jumper underneath. He'll be called, they'll say a jump ball. Duty, Landaverde and Rodriguez check back in. Tyrone, I don't think, realizes it. They've only got four players out there. Ball back over to Beaver. He still hasn't had anybody check in. So Dakota Kane will check back into the game. So just a few seconds, and they got a big enough lead. I guess they were okay to play with four for that short couple of seconds. Farrington over to Rollins in the corner. Drive by Adrian Gonzalez all the way to the hoop. Can't get it to go. Rollins with the rebound, though. Kicks it back outside. Adrian Gonzalez for three from the corner. Too strong. Rebounded by Duty. Pushes ahead. Kicks it across the lane. Ball knocked out of bounds by Adrian Gonzalez. So Tyrone will inbound underneath their own basket. Sanborn with it. Now out top to Landaverde. Rodriguez in the corner, gets it to Duty in the lane. Back outside to Sanborn. Duty up top, now back outside, three-pointer by Rodriguez, no good. Chased down by Balderrama. Adrian Gonzalez looked to go to the block, back outside, Enriquez drives, lays it up and in, gets the count on the basket. He'll go to the line for the and one. That's Kane's first foul. Free throw is good as he converts the three-point play. 53-29 now the score. Bob jostled around, Sanborn drives in and gets the shooter's roll. He scores the basket. 55-29 now the score. (laughs) 
Enriquez tried to save it from going out of bounds, couldn't do it. Ball back over to Tyrone. Banning returns to the game, also in a sophomore, number 30, Caleb Groth. In for the Dusters, Lozano returns. In the, shot in the lane, banks it in. That is Landaverde with the basket. Baseline jumper by Adrian Gonzalez, no good. Chance duty, rebound, long pass ahead to Sanborn, able to chase it down. Pass intercepted though by Balderrama, knocks away for a second, but that's gonna be a foul on Sanborn. That'll be his second. Team's fourth foul of the half. Pass inside underneath, shot blocked by Groth. Inside to Banning, gives it back to Landaverde, drives in and banks it. That one spun around the rim three or four times, but finally fell down in. 59-29 now the score. We're past the midway point here of the fourth quarter. Ball tipped away by Landaverde for a second, but Rollins gets it back and a foul call then. Sanborn call for his third foul on the reach. Pacheco back into the game, as well as Rodriguez. Rollins with it in the corner. He'll take the three, no good. Ball tipped around, put back up and in. That was number 20. That's Misael Chavez scoring the basket for the Dusters. Misael is sophomore. Manning with it inside, outside to Landa Verde. And Tyrone once again tonight, as they'll add another win to their record, the 18 and four. They look like they're gonna be a formidable foe in the playoffs. A tough out for anybody, could go a long ways. Adrian Gonzalez called for his fourth foul as Sanborn and also Kane check back into the game. Sanborn out top. Now Pacheco with it, gives it back to Sanborn. That's almost a little wild there for Kane to get a hold of. Give and go back to Sanborn, back outside. Groth gives it up to Rodriguez, tried to get it down low to Sanborn, ball knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Tyrone. Checking in for the Dusters, a freshman wearing double zero, Willie Norton. Ball knocked out of bounds by Norton on the inbounds underneath the basket. That one hit off the bottom of the, of the backboard. So that'll be an automatic turnover over to the Dusters. Beaver will drop to nine and 11. Ball inside, shot put up. Can't get that one to stay in there. Rebounded though by Norton. As Chavez almost had his second basket already. Wow. 
Foul on Groth, that'll be his first. Team's sixth foul. Ball inbounded to Norton, puts up the shot off the front of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Adrian Gonzalez, puts it up and in. 59-33 so now the score. Roth back outside to Pacheco. They'll pass it around the perimeter. Looking to use clock, really kind of running a five man out. Ball stolen away by Balderrama. Over to Lozano. Uh, Adrian Gonzalez tries to dump it down low to Chavez. Back outside, and that's going to be a foul call. Look like on Caleb Groth. And that's going to be foul number seven, so it'll be the one and one. That is Groth's second foul. So Adrian Gonzalez at the line for the one and one. Gets the first one to go, so he'll get the bonus. 108 left to play. Misses the second. 59-34 oh, the score now. Tyrone brings it up. All subs in for both teams right now. Although Lozano did start in Pugh's, in Pugh's absent tonight. Absence tonight. Is Tyrone happy to just run clock here. Groth looks to drive baseline, kicks it back outside to Pacheco. Loses control, ball back outside, 30 seconds to play. Pacheco back out top. And this down to 12 seconds now. Looks like they're just gonna run off these final seconds. And the Tyrone shot put up there at the end, Adrian Gonzalez with the rebound. And he'll just let it run out. The Tyrone Bobcats have come to the Duster Dome and defeated the Beaver Dusters 59 to 34 to improve to 18 and 4 on the season. Beaver drops to 9 and 11. We thank you for joining us here on PTCI Channel 2 for our high school basketball coverage. Remember, not only can you see us there, but you can also see us on PTCI's YouTube channel. Just Simply Google PTCI YouTube channel and it'll take you right to it. You can see this game and many other archive games on there. So catch all the high school action you, you want there. That's it from the Duster Dome in Beaver, Oklahoma. Good night from Beaver. <laughs>